Hello everybody and welcome back to another week of Loopy Row. We're back in this time we got chapter 3 because we beat the angel lady or well whatever she's named the priestess but I mean come on she's the angel lady. But we beat her last week so now we'll continue our way into chapter 3. So we played a lot of rogue last week. We got the player warrior in chapter 3. I mean, didn't really do much of Necromancer, so I want to try playing Necromancer to start this week off. Uh, clearly, since we've not actually gotten to the boss and seen it or fought it at all, it's just going to be grinding right now. Although, I say that even though I beat the boss lady, the priestess, nothing really opened up. I'm still stuck with the same issue of it's really hard to get um, orbs of expansion, I think they're called. It's kind of a bummer. Honestly, what I might need to do is go back to chapter one and just go for like a bunch of spider cocoons where uh, I have chrono crystals next to them or like temporal beacons next to them and just really try to like get as many expansion orders. We'll, we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm just gonna try playing the Necromancer chapter three. See how that goes. And we did last week, before we left off, we did upgrade one of our watchtowers. So I'm really excited to see if this actually makes it to where all four get to attack from two spaces away. I'm really skeptical about that. I feel like it's probably going to be like one, of, one of two away and then four from one away. But let's just get to the game. Um, uh, I'm looking at the Necromancer. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Well... That's not that amazing, actually. Let me take that off. Uh, where is it? That's the cheese. I don't, I don't want the cheese. Oh, dang it. I keep closing this one. I don't mean to. That's not great. Pebbles? I mean... Am I using rocks to build anything? Uh, I mean, I have plenty for the library. I mean, mud huts. But they don't really... I don't really do much. Farms I hate. It's... Yeah, nothing, actually. So I don't really care about my, uh, getting pebbles right now. Don't help. That doesn't help either. I mean, honestly, the cousin here is probably gonna be the best thing. Because these, I can't. Oh, no, I can put both, but it doesn't go up. Yeah, it still says 5%. So, get that off. What I want are more jewelers lunch, because if I could just have like eight of these or nine of these, that'd be so sick. Swords. Oh, I've got three extra mirrors, yo. That's pretty cool. I don't remember. I don't even know what uses magic attacks, honestly. I wish I had a fourth jeweler slot, because then I could do these three and then the five percent damage boost. Wait a minute. The hero's damage is increased by 5% when he is in range of a royal lantern or beacon. I don't. That is not good for the necromancer because all my damage basically comes from my skeletons. So. Let's. Have some reflecting going on. I think everything else is fine. Yeah. Now to the cards. I still want to do Arsenal because it has the shields and last time I played I died really quickly but I feel like it was just more my fault than... I don't remember what we were fighting but I, I died really quickly. Uh, yes, treasury, I need that for fun. Bring my items. I'll get a bit of a would be good just because I have the uh, the mirrors but I'm not but I'm not going to fight the boss so I don't want it. This are good. Let's take these off. It won't help a whole lot. 
don't know. I did, I did get, have an argument, or not, like, like, not an argument as in, like, a fight, but, like, an argument as in, like, debating whether or not this would be good for Necromancer, because it's, like, the only base, or, like, the only increase of HP you could get that isn't magical about it being good. And honestly, after dying really quickly last week, I kind of, I was like, maybe, maybe, maybe? So, uh... I, I guess let's try it. Just to try it. I mean, there's no point in not. I, I usually have enough Oblivion to get rid of the Goblin Camps, and... Considering the force, the the village question marks just don't really, that aren't a bad thing for Necromancer, I think I'll give it a go. I don't need Chrono Crystals. I will take the battlefield. Uh, I'm fighting vampires? Well, if that's the case, let's knock one of these off and put the... Oh, it's a... Oh. Okay. Sorry, I had so much exposition. I didn't think I just I should have probably should have done this before I even started recording, but I I used to do it at the end of, of recordings that I did last week. Uh, ooh, I never noticed how cool staff looks. Like if this were like an MMO, this is pretty basic looking staff. I don't know, it's really I like it. It's a cool one. It's got the cool. Have I tried Swamp with Necromancer? I don't think I have. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try the Swamp with Necromancer. And Ruin Suck. I I For the sake of knowing what new things do, let's get the blood grove. And this. Wait, I don't have anywhere to put the blood grove. Okay. Well, a forest? A distant turret? I, yeah, yeah, I can. Right? Okay. Enough talking. Let's just get into the run. This is the first try in Commander Chapter 3. We have the arsenal, and I'm not running outpost, so I can put this right here with no issues. So I can use this shield immediately. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. I've been having a pretty good one. Uh, I do have mountains this time, uh, so I'm just going to put my meadows... Oh, I could put it against that. I'll just put it on here. For now. So, a forest adjacent to the road. I'm not using Corona Crystals, so honestly, putting the forest around the road sounds pretty good for my blood growth, so I'm just gonna start putting them in different spots and see how it works. We're in the early phase of the chapter, so it's gonna be a lot of experimenting. Wait, why doesn't it have all the abilities? It's not. Wait, yeah, why does this not have abilities? That's really weird. Raw. Raw. I think I'll have the ruins be where the blood girls are because then they will actually execute them and make sure they always die. Uh, however, I'll put the swamp or the swamps where I'm not gonna have 
blood grows. So for now, put on the civilian side. Honestly, blood grows and ru ruins actually sound like a really cool combo. Just to make sure that they die. I didn't really think about that whenever I started this. But now I'm excited to see how that works. At least how well it works. Uh, so now I've got three blood grow spots. I think that that'll be all for now. The three is quite a bit. And I'll just put my horse in the bottom left as soon as you would. I didn't bring the desert because, um... Uh, that's a good spot. Because I brought the mountain so I could try having more max HP with the Necromancer. Seeing how that would go on. If I brought the desert, it would just kind of counteract it. Yeah, I'm not getting the negative health on the enemies. But, I don't know. I, just, I wanted to see how high I could actually get with the Necromancer with just the mountain just rocks to see. If maybe it is worth it. I don't know. They're giving me plus three and plus six, so that's like actually really good. Cause that's how much I had on soldier or warrior. So I don't know. Maybe my oh I should be ah oh well. Maybe my previous assumption is incorrect. Stuff though uh, for Loop Hero, recently the developers fourth quarter or four quarters, they brought out an update for the game, but it's on like a beta patch to where uh, it's not on full release, but you can play it if you want to. Uh, There's a lot of good changes to the game I feel like, but I actually I was going to update it and play it for the videos, but it mentioned that the save files could get pretty risky. So, it didn't really recommend, like, I didn't want to start it up and try to play with the new stuff and then have, like, the save get, I guess, corrupted or, like, messed up, so I couldn't play it again, I didn't. So, sadly, we didn't get to do there, but it adds a lot of cool stuff, like, uh, instead of one, two times, you could do one through four. That, or it's one, two, and then the option for four times, I'm not quite sure. But up to four times speed, which is kind of neat. That actually sounds kind of up my alley, because there are some times I'm just like walking. Especially in these early stages of the game where like not a whole lot happens. I think a faster speed would be pretty good. It's funny too because in that same like beta note or whatever, like the oh jeez. Alright. And the same And that same I was talking about the beta and the new update. Wait, how how far away was that? It's one. Darn it. I, I gotta like. Ooh, I should be putting these swamps next to the campfire. I think about that. Uh, they mentioned that the game is balanced for times one, so like it'd be easy to miss things if you put it at times four. But it's like it's kind of weird because. We've been playing it basically the entire game on times two, and I'm like, I'm just, I'm super used to it now. It helped a lot during the priestess fight, just because I, I guess it was kind of hard to follow along there. But I'd rather fight in the game, and like, it's fine in times two, in my opinion. So, I think times four might be too fast, though. So maybe just because I'm not used to it, I'd have to get used to it. It'd be really good for like grinding and like a chapter one stuff, though. Because, again, yes, another thing, I went back and I looked at the video, I did, I did mess up, uh, I did get the option of unlocking a new trait, uh, just permanently, that you have an option to when running through the runs, and I, I did press yes, I went for the, the uh, resources instead, because, Back then, I had the same thoughts where, oh, this is just for the rest of the run if I can keep going. Not an unlock, so I, yeah. I missed out on a permanent unlock, but I'm pretty sure if I just went back and killed uh, Space Pimp, the Lich, I probably would 
still get more trait unlocks. So if that ever, if the if the other if the update ever comes to live, to where uh, we're still playing when it like gets updated, I, I, I might do some like times four speed run to see chapter one or something unlocks or something. That sounds pretty cool. Ooh, no oblivions. Yikes. Oh well. At least I'm not using Chrono Crystal, so I don't have to worry about it being doubled. I do have to worry about the Chapter 3 abilities for them, though. Wait a minute. This seems pretty fast up here. Am I playing on chapter one? Did I accidentally? I think I'm actually playing on chapter one. I think when I went quick a bunch, I, I, yeah. Because I'm not getting barely any resources either. I, I feel like I'm playing on chapter one. Well. Uh Oops. My bad. See this is a movie this is when it'd be great to have times four speed. Because then we could be going through this much faster and it would feel a lot more rewarding. <laughs> so Yeah. I feel pretty dumb. Yeah, because he only has rage and they don't have any abilities. Dude, as soon as I saw that first one, I'm like, it doesn't have abilities. I, I should have known. I should have dipped. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Keep going, because if I can kill the, the Lich again, this is a good way to tell. Jesus Christ. Chapter one go goblin. Look at this garbage. I would have been dead probably without the mountains. Well, I don't know. Maybe. 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 No, may not fully dead, but pretty close. Look at that. Yeesh. Alright. So yeah, uh, yeah, because it's just a normal enemy, it doesn't have any dang it, man. We are playing on chapter one. F. It doesn't even have the, yeah, it doesn't even have the ability to where it'll go away if I don't kill it. Man, I had a great setup and everything, I'm playing on chapter one. Oh well, like I said, uh, this is a good way to test some things. One, seeing if I actually can unlock traits and that'll beat the glitch once. Uh, two, uh, this if I actually do beat the glitch, which is what I'm just gonna go for, like there's no point not. Um, this would be a good way to get another skull, and as long as chapter three doesn't increase the cost, that would give me a free pass at fighting the. Uh, chapter 3 boss without losing any items. Or, like, without losing any resources that I've found. Which, if that's true, this is honestly pretty worth it. But, I, I do kind of applaud it. I didn't realize that I did that. So, yeah. Who knows, these goblins could just take me out, though, honestly. Okay. Oh, you just get a plus one. What? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have top one is Art of Control, plus one to maximum number of skeletons, which is nutty. Because that's I need that so much so many times. Okay, and then counterattack. After hero sees direct damage to so all skeletons have a 50% chance 
15% chance to immediately perform a counterattack. Very good, but right now I want the art of control. And then obviously Gord, you can see three strength and fealtons will be joining the hero on every loop to help the battle. That's pretty bad. Like, it guarantees a certain type of uh, skeletons, but only every loop, and that just is not good enough. So, art of, art of control! Pretty baller. I need more attack speed, though. I'm very slow at summoning right now. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, having max three skeletons is just base. So good. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the first. Let's go. Oh, 